Hi there. If you've if you're watching this video, that means you've purchased uh, something from the Arwen Sacred Geometry collection. And so thank you for your purchase. I'm going to go through a couple things in these in this video to really help you be able to uh, customize the elements of the site so that you can make it really look like your brand. Um, you can also keep it as is, like all of these images are royalty free and the elements that were created were all created by me, um, including these um, clip arts here. I created them from scratch. I added them to Canva so you can actually change the color. So if you don't want them to be gold and you want them to be something else, like I'll show you, you could make it, um, I could, you could change it to, let's say, you could change it to teal so that the element will completely change color and same with this here this geometric geometric element it can also be color changed let's say it's orange so whatever your brand colors are you can actually customize this theme quite a bit to suit your brand so um, that's what's really fun about this this theme it's it's really beautiful but also you can really customize it and change the colors and you can use these images and these images are compositions so you can do so much with them um, but what's important to know with this is there are everything's in layers and there's a lot of differences in opacity so it's important to kind of look at okay what's in my first layer what's in my second layer so the first layer here seems to be some kind of landscape that is giving it the, the kind of like the dreamy colors that you have here but this image in the background is the woman so if you wanted to change it to something else you can replace it now that image particularly uh it hasn't oh it's been ed edited slightly so slightly brighter but if you're wanting to, if you put an image in there and you're like my image doesn't look right open this tab edit image and adjust it and you can put it back to zero if you want it to look exactly like how it's supposed to um, it could also have an opacity change. So, right, so the transparency here is 55, so you could put, put it back to 100. My only warning to you is if you make it too dark, the navigation can become hard to see, so then you might need to make some adjustments to your navigation once you're in Kajabi. But if you're wanting to just edit these elements here, um, once you've changed the images, then you just put them back how they how they were, and then you download this as an image. I know there's a big white space here. Different heroes on different pages of the website or on the sales page have different heights. So I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So you're gonna first you're gonna download it as a JPEG. So we're gonna switch that here, and we're gonna do JPEG. And then I'm going to unselect all of these and my current page is the page I want to download. So I'm going to say done, download. And then once this image is downloaded, you're going to go to Kajabi and I will show you what's next. So once you're in Kajabi and you want to change the hero image, you're going to click on it and it's going to appear here. You're going to do select image upload new file you're going to go to where you downloaded the image and you're going to upload it now this is where you have to pay attention because this is where you're going to crop it and you can crop it more if you'd like but just as long as there's no white space left so i'm going to crop it to about here i'm going to do save and then it's going to upload as the hero image on the site um, if you want to see exactly how it looks because by default it'll squish the hero until you save it so if you press save and you save in Kajabi it'll readjust the hero and this one is set to bottom so that we can see that beautiful uh, edge that is added to the imagery so that's how you would go and crop the images and edit them if you need to okay so another important piece of the puzzle when it comes to working with this theme is these images here. How do you download them? How do you edit them? Um, once you're comfortable with Canva, this shouldn't be an issue, but if you're not comfortable, this will totally help you. So again, these images are very layered. So, and there's 
play on transparency. Like you can see that this um, layer that's in front has um, some transparency so that you can see the image through it. Um, and not to mention that you have all this white space around and you obviously don't want to have that when you put it in your site. So to edit it, it's the same as the way you would do the hero images is, you know, just maybe give it a gap so that you can edit the right image, but maybe start with kind of really looking like what image is what. So the front image in this case, it's not the case for every single one, but the front image in this case is kind of like the ge geometric element. And the back image is, um, you know, the image that includes the pink and the man that's standing there. So if you wanted to edit this image, um, you can just throw something in there. Like I could throw this image in there and then you could readjust it. If you don't want this element, you can delete it too. So this is completely customizable to what you prefer. If you don't want this to be gold, um, this element is editable. I created them. Um, you can change them to pink. If your colors aren't pink at all, you can also change them to whatever color you would like. So if you want to make it teal, uh, you can make it teal. You can change all of the colors. Everything is customizable. And, you know, I would just say my biggest um, tip would be that if, let's say your color scheme is teal, you're going to want your images to either be like a neutral, creamy maybe color to go with the teal or to actually include teal in all of your images. So find images that have teal in them. So like, for example, I'll show you, right? I have an image that has some teal in it. So let's look at this one here. And then if you wanted to adjust where the, where the image sits, you just double click on it and it'll show up like this and then you can move it. So I'm gonna move it like this. And then you can kind of see there's teal there. I mean, ideally I wouldn't do this because the text is overlapping on her eyes, but let's say this is your color scheme, right? So all of a sudden you can really customize this to the colors of your brand. So um, even including this here, you could change that to teal or like maybe a darker teal. And then all of a sudden this is completely different. So anyways, all of this is interchangeable, but now if you want to add it to the site, this is really important is how you download it. You're going to want to download it as a transparent PNG. So when you click download here, usually by default, it'll place it as a PNG. Um, what's important here, you wanna click transparent background, and then you're gonna select which images you want downloaded as a transparent background, which all the ones that kind of have a frame like this are the ones you're gonna to wanna, to, and these elements as well. You can also change the color of these, um, but all these elements you can download as PNGs, transparent, um, so that they don't come with a white background. Because if you download them as a PNG and you forget to click this, it's gonna download with a white box behind it. Um, as a transparent PNG, it'll just, it'll be completely transparent and you'll just see this element here over top of whatever element you place it, uh, wherever you place it. So, and the same with this, like you'll have the image, but all this space around. And plus this already has some transparency it's going to keep that transparency um, when you bring it into Kajabi. So good luck with working with this theme. And obviously I'm available if you have any questions.